Okay, here we go. Today it's it's uh, continuation from last time three uh, section three point four. Can somebody read for us? Oh, I'm sorry. Here you are. Can somebody read for us what it says there about exterior angle? Actually, it's right up here. Okay. All right. So, oh, okay. Go ahead, sir. Thank you. Oh, actually, we're gonna. Okay, that's good. So, um, that's okay. But, but you have to know what it is. Okay, you have to. Know. So, an exterior angle is. Here's a picture of an exterior angle. Here. Oops. Actually, I show you. A, I'll show you a better picture. Here. So you see, if I were to extend one of the sides of the triangle, whoops, then I get an angle right here, right? Not the straight angle. The other side. You see the angle that gets formed if I were to extend one of the side. Uh, oh, I could also extend this side, right? How many sides could I extend and get? I could, I could do six. six two, two for each vertex, right? I could do one here and then I could extend this one also, right? I could extend this one or this one. I could extend this or that, right? But let's just look at this extent, uh, exterior angle. Um, anybody, in, by the way, look at these two angles that are sort of far away from this angle. That's why they're called remote interior angles, right? Have you guys heard of remote area? I mean, what does that mean? Like, far it's away. far, yeah. So these are called the remote interior angles, right? What about 80, 80, 80 degrees right here? Is that a remote interior angle? No. no, that's the one next to it. That's the adjacent angle. Yeah, these are supplementary, you're right. But so that's not called the remote interior. Remote interiors are the ones that are far away, far away from that angle, exterior angle. Does that make sense? So anybody see, okay, also, I could extend this side over here. And as you can see, I get an exterior angle. And these are the two remote interior angles. Do you see that? So anybody see any relationship between these remote interior angles with the exterior angle? Sort of easy to see, right? OK. Eric, what do you think? Hint, hint, look, Eric. This is 70 degrees, right? This is 30, right? What do you get when you add them together? You get 100, right? What about here? 40 plus 25, what do you get? So what do you see? Do you see any relationship? Yeah, if you were to add, look. If you were to add remote interior angles together, guess what you get? You get the measure of the exterior angle. Isn't that nice? Okay, so guess what? That's a theorem. So there's a theorem. Write it down. So the measure measure of an exterior angle of a triangle equals to the sum of the measures of the two remote interior angles. Not the one next to it, okay? These are the remote interior angles. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, question? I'm sorry? You can't have extra angle that's more than 180 degrees. It's impossible. Right? Because you're going to extend one of the sides, right? It's always going to be uh, less than 180. Does that make sense? OK. Yeah, it can be. Right. Write this down. Oh, wait. Get this now. Let's say that we have a triangle that looks something like this. And let me extend this side right here, OK? Notice I get a straight angle on this one side and here this is the this is the what? Exterior angle. Now we just said what's a what's the measurement of this exterior angle? Yeah, seventy plus thirty. Isn't that one hundred? Yes. Now, but I said we could also make it another exterior angle by extending the other side right here. Right? Yes. So whoops. Where I mean okay. And do you see right here, this angle is D? Exterior angle. Guess what? This is also yeah, 70 plus 30. Right? And also you could say, you're right. You could also say on these two vertical angles. So that's why those two exterior angles are the same. Does that make sense? So no matter which one you extend, either the one right here, the black one, or the uh, green, uh, blue one, the exterior angles are the same, the measurement. Does that make sense? Because some of you are saying, well, don't they add up differently? No. It's, it, it, right? No matter which one you extend, the exterior angle for that one vertex is always going to be same, right? Not only are they vertical angles, you know, when you add up the exterior 
right? Remote interior angles, right? The exterior angle is the same. Does that make sense? Okay, so knowing this, and by the way, uh, if I want to then prove this, so I have a picture for you, triangle A, B, whoops, C. Uh, in a minute, I'm going to give you a chance to write it. But I want you to first think about what, as a group, how would you go about proving that measurement of angle, let's just talk about this exterior angle four, okay? How do we prove that measurement angle four is equal to measurement angle one plus measurement angle two if you have this triangle here like this? Okay. So, question? Oh, you already know? Okay. So I'm going to first start off with, we're gonna do a two column proof. So think about this. I'm going to give you about a couple minutes. Go ahead, think about it as a group. How would you go about proving this? Let's see whether you could do this. Go ahead. Okay, let me give you some hint here. Given is that you have a triangle ABC, right? What do you know about triangle ABC in terms of? By the way, how does it make sense that angle four should be sum of one two? Why? Why should that be true? So let's think about that first. Tony. Yeah. Yeah. Look, one two three. When you add them up together, isn't that one eighty? Isn't angle three plus four? Doesn't that equal to one eighty? What? No, it's, it's one, it's angle one. Sorry, not that one. No, sorry. Does that make sense? So, guess what we're gonna say first? Uh, Josh? Shh. Right, so given is that you have a triangle ABC. No, you don't have to even use that. Yeah, why? Yeah, some of the measures of a triangle is equal to? Maybe. That's a theorem we just proved. Yes. Yeah. No, no, no. Not right. Don't write it down yet. Some of the measure of, of a uh, some of the measure of angles of a triangle, right? Is equal to 180. Now, then what are we gonna say next? Who have an icon? Brianna. Right. Don't write it yet, but I'll give you time. Right. So measurement angle what? Three plus measurement angle four is equal to? 180 is correct. What's the reason? Kevin? Angle is postulate, second part. You guys remember that? Now, what are we gonna do? Okay, a lot of you okay, I'm going to give you time now. Go ahead. From here, how are you gonna say that measure angle one plus measure angle two equals two? Measure angle? Four. Go ahead, everybody try. I'll, I'll wait. Go ahead. What are we gonna do next? I'm sorry. I instead of measurement, I actually I before I had a D right here, letter D, but is I'm sorry, but I just called it angle four. It's a lot easier, isn't it? Rather than calling it ACD, I just called it angle four. Is that okay? Here. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, that's what I meant. I'm sorry. So I had a letter D, but I just actually labeled that angle. It's so much easier. Okay. Go ahead. Everybody try. Sorry. Uh, Esther, what do we do next here? Which one? Oh, uh, here. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, isn't it measuring angle one plus measuring angle two plus measure, measure of angle three equals measuring angle four plus measure of angle three? Good. Look, all these angles add up together is 180. Measuring angle four plus three is equal to 180, right, Kevin? So. We could just equate them together. What is the reason for it, Kevin? That's correct. Substitution property up. There is no substitution property of equality. You just write substitution property, right? And then afterwards, what are we going to do next? Yeah, Chan. Yeah, which, what are you going to say? A measure of angle 3 equals 2. Measure of angle 3. That's reflexive property, right? Right? Then what should we do, Nicholas? Exactly, you subtract measure angle three from both sides. I started with me measure angle four first. Does it matter? Okay, it doesn't matter, right? So there it is. Measure angle four equals two. What? Measure angle one, two, which is the what? Which are the remote inter angle. So that's how you go about proving that theorem. Any question? No. That was pretty straightforward, right? Now, yeah, question. I'm sorry. No, you just write substitution property. But you know it's for of equality, right? 
because we can't use for uh, congruence, remember? Very good. Okay, now what I want you to do is, I hope you didn't write this down. I'm going to hide this now. See if you could do this on a blank sheet of paper without looking at anything. Okay, if you did it already, then do it again. Just hide it. I want you to be able to do this without any sort of help. If I were to give you this to you on a test, could you do this on a blank sheet of paper? Yeah. Go ahead. I'll give you time. Go ahead. I'll... Yeah, same exact one. Same exact one. But yeah, go ahead and draw the picture. They won't stand up. Okay, let me show you the answer first. Hold on. Give me a sec. How many people put 180 for? Okay, sorry. How many people put down first one? Of course, some of the measure of the angles of a triangle 180. If you got, if you didn't get this, sit down. Okay. What about second? Angle yeah. postulate four plus three 180. If you didn't get it, sit down. How about substitution for next one? And as the last one, reflexive and. How many people got it right? Remain standing. Okay, a lot of you. Very good. Most of you. Okay, very good. Good job. Have a good weekend, guys. Thank you.